check all right how about that can you guys hear me now thumbs up in the chat if you guys can hear me oh my god i was talking this whole time oh my god <laughs> i think it works now i think it works now can you guys hear me now all right anyways we're just gonna hang out for a little bit watch this price action because i'm bored and there's nothing else to do but anyways like i was saying uh hold on i just froze for a second there we go so what i was saying basically is that if we drop if, if those drops below this uh level of structure right here this like 50 what is this 52 53 cents something like that uh and it closes you're probably more than likely going to see it come down here all right there's nothing in here stopping it so there's a little hiccup right here but for the most part yeah, no, it's it's probably definitely coming down to forty, close to forty cents if it closes below this uh, fifty-two cents. But we'll see. I think when he comes back on and starts talking about it, we might we might uh, we might get some jump. But guys, if you didn't know, I did. I just yellowed five hundred in here just to see what happens. Uh, I'm currently down eighty-five bucks. Eh, where did I get in? I got in at sixty-six cents. So just kind of a fun thing. I was just kind of bored and just did it for no reason. So we'll see what happens. But no, I'm not going to be streaming uh, SNL. I don't want to get a copyright strike. It's not worth it uh, for my channel, so it is what it is. But if you guys are watching, put it in the chat if he does end up talking about it. <clears throat> I'm not really sure where else to watch it, and even if I could find it, I wouldn't stream it. So Hit that like button for me, guys, real quick. I am, I am interested to see what he says about it, though. I am pretty interested to see what he says about it. This thing is moving crazy. 56 cents. Yeah, I mean, guys, I, you know, it, the only reason I really haven't been covering crypto too much is just because it tilts me. I was talking about in the Discord earlier. I had so many insane investments. Like, I had Ethereum at not, I had 11 Ethereum coins at $900. All right, that would have made me 50K. <laughs> then I had $10,000 in Doge when it was down here at like 10 cents. All right. If I'd have kept that in, I would have made about four hundred thousand dollars. So yeah, it just kind of tilts me, man. Just looking at this stuff, but I guess it is what it is. There'll always be more investments, but th you know, these are just. This would have been. If I'd have kept that ten thousand in right here, I think I had eleven cent. I did it at eleven cents. Uh, I would have made half a million dollars almost. Ugh. Really does tilt me. Yeah, no, I know they're streaming it, but uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get a copyright strike. I sold Doge the day I bought it. I put ten thousand dollars in one day, and I was, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna yolo this because I had already suspected it was gonna. This was before anyone knew about Doge. This was a long time ago. This was way over here, and you know, uh, before this, early March. Actually, you know what? I think it was earlier than this. Damn, you know what? It might have been. No, yeah, it was over here. It was in January, guys. It was in January because I remember it, it actually got in. It was lower than this. I don't have to go check. Cause now I want to I want to remember what it was. I'll check in a minute. But anyways, I sold it the day I, I got in. I got in. I lost seven hundred bucks. And I was like, screw this. I got out. <laughs> uh, big regret. Cause actually, now that I'm looking at this, I think I did do it in January. So it was over here. It wasn't even one cent yet. It wasn't even one cent yet. It was like, it was like right here. Oh my god. Now I'm even more tilted. Cause I just looked at this. It was. It was over here. I did it in January. <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> Oh, that is so tilted. So that would have been a cool uh, couple million bucks for me, I think. Like, seriously, because I think I really did. I think it was in January. Where's my phone? I got to check. I got to find this. I got to look at I got to figure out when I got in Doge. I hope I'm wrong. Let me see. Hold on one second. If you guys, if he says something about Dogecoin, just put it in the chat so we can, so we all can know. One second.
I'm still here. I'm trying to recover this password real quick so I can figure out when I when I got in Doge. You know what? I probably would invest in Safe Moon just for YOLO, but I can't figure out how to get it. I really can't. And I just I mean I probably could if I actually sat down and took the time. But I just can't figure it out. I have Trust Wallet, but when I tried to add in whatever it was telling me to, I just couldn't find it. So I do have Trust Wallet. I just have no idea uh how to find Safe Moon, how to get in it. I don't I didn't I haven't really spent the time to do it. I probably would do it though. All right, guys, I got it pulled up here. I'm going to tell you guys when I got in. All right, so let's go down to Doge. Hold on. All right, I want you guys to see. Oh, my God. All right, so I got in Doge on. All right, guys, check this out. I bought 500,000 Doge coins for $10,000 on January 28th. So January 28th. Oh my god, this is going to tilt the shit out of me. Oh my god, this is going to tilt the shit out of me. Because I just realized that I really did get back here. January 28th. Right here. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> this is terrible. Oh my god. January 28th. Hold on, I'm just trying to find this. So somewhere around... Oh my gosh. Yeah, so... 0 0.027, that's when I got in. 500,000 Dogecoin. 500,000. I then sold about two hours later for a $700 loss and cashed out with 9,335. Oh my God. I'm not even sure how to calculate, honestly, right now how much I would have made. Well, yeah, I can actually. We can do it. Actually, we can do it. So my 500,000 Dogecoin, I, I put $10,000 in. I got 500,000 coins. If I times 0. Point, what is it? We'll just go at the top. 0. 0.74. I would have made 370K. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, God, that is so tilting. Uh, thank you. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, the, the dog was, she was old. She was old and, you know, it is what it is, you know. It was not easy to watch that, but I, I thank you guys for the kind words. I can't, I can't even literally believe that I had $500,000, but you know what? Uh, there, I know myself, all right? I know we all know us. I know myself. I would have sold way before this. I would have. We were, That thing would have got up here, I guarantee you. I'm not even joking. I would have probably sold, like, I probably would have sold up in here, to be honest. I wouldn't have rode it this whole way. But I I would have kept getting in. Uh, I would have kept putting profits in this, so I would have actually rode this all the way up. But I guess what can you do, you know? I just, I hope we find the next one, you know? Hopefully Microvision's the next one, and, uh... Or something we find, uh, you know. But these are crypto just tilts me, man. Uh, and I feel like I I missed the train. I always feel like that with crypto. Oh, we had four Bitcoin at four thousand dollars each. Sold those right before, right after the the having, which I already knew that it was going to happen. I don't know why I sold it. Uh, then Ethereum had eleven Ethereum coins at nine hundred bucks. So crypto is kind of just tilting me lately, to be honest with you. I hope, I mean, I hope all you make money, but I also hope for my sake that it dips very hard and I can get back in because it's just very tilting to, for me to look at crypto. It just is. I had some nasty investments, guys. 11 Ethereum coins at $900 a coin. I would have made bank on that. Uh, you know, then the Dogecoin, then the Bitcoin, obviously, so. Eh. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I appreciate you guys. Thank you.
I appreciate y'all. All right. Kind of re-dipped here under this, uh, this structure line right here. Guys, it's just for fun. Like I said, I'm not really trying to get too deep into Doge right now, but, you know, it is a, a social phenomenon, so I might as well be covering it, I guess, a little bit. But uh, shout out to everybody's in there. We got 35 whole people in here. I can't wait for Monday. I think I think Microvision is gonna pop off. MVIS is set up, guys. It, it really is. It really is. It is. It is set up to go. We'll talk about it real quick. Because I put all this stuff in the chat, but I want to show this to you on live since we got most of the people here. So, guys, the last time, if you look at Microvision real quick, the last time that uh, price was in this area, look at this uh, pattern I found that was pretty similar. So, price came up to this 15, about 1545, and then came back down, and then had a big move up. If you notice, there's no other patterns like that until we get about right here. All right, so this, this little, uh, I mean, I guess this one was it, but it broke structure down here. So, if we come up here and test the bottom, you see this, this, this N, it's pretty similar. So I kind of suspect us at least being back up in that close to that $18. I mean, by the end of this month, I would honestly think that's going to happen. I, st I still have my $33 price target, even though it's a little bit late. I still think it's going to happen. I'm pretty, pretty positive. I hope you guys aren't getting bored with Mavis, guys. This is a hold, all right? You can't just, you know, it can happen overnight, but it's probably not going to. All right, it could. You said this happened overnight, basically. <laughs> so it could happen again, guys. It really could. It really could. Dogecoin, 53 cents. Has he mentioned uh, Dogecoin again or no? Oh, man, that is so tilting. It tilts me when I... Th yeah, yeah, no, it tilts me when I think about it, but even when I think about it, like, for a second time, I wouldn't have wrote it this high. I, I just know myself. Like, I would have probably doubled up and taken the 10,000 profit and been done. So... But if anybody has any actual directions on how I can get in safe, uh, safe moon, I would do safe moon. I would YOLO safe moon. Here. If anybody has any actual, send me a DM on Discord on how to do it. Because I, I kind of want to do it. Thumbs up if you guys have safe moon. If you have safe moon in the chat, let's get a thumbs up. I would not mind yellowing safe moon. But I mean, you know, like I said. The whole chart looks crazy, dude. The whole freaking chart looks absolutely insane. <laughs> Even if I go do go to a monthly, like this is just a this is just a retracement. <laughs> I mean seriously. Look at this. This this is just a retracement. The cup and handle. You guys see it? Right there. That was the worst one ever, but you guys saw it. This is just a retracement. This thing is this thing is prepped for, for takeoff for real. Uh it's not just gonna tank. That doesn't even make sense. Let me know in the chat when he talks about Dogecoin again. Um, I'm interested. As you guys see, I did I did YOLO 500 bucks in here at the absolute worst possible time. <laughs> so, uh, well, I guess we'll see. All right. Uh, down currently $100. Yay. We'll see. I did. I mean, like I said, I pretty much called this out and went uh, completely went against what I thought what I knew was going to happen. But I'm hoping. That when he talks about it, which he hasn't done it yet, when he starts talking about it, it comes back up, and I think it will. So I'm not too worried about it. Not too worried about it. Oh, man. I think I'm saying bye-bye to this 500 bucks. <laughs> I, hope I'm, I hope I'm right, and it goes back up. I'm not watching the I'm not watching SNL no. I was watching it. Someone was streaming it, but I, I don't want to risk getting a copyright uh infraction, so I'm not gonna do it. 
It would have been. It would have been. He lasted for about fifteen minutes. Hundred thousand people in there watching him. That was kind of dumb though, because he has a pretty big channel, so they could easily just delete his channel for doing that. To be honest. You know the crazy thing is, I'm, how can the sec not sue him? Like I've seen the sec sue people for much less. Elon is literally pumping this, so I guess the sec doesn't really control that. But if it was a stock, he would be in deep shit right now. Oof. All right, so we're guys, we're gonna see forty cents. I'm telling you right now, this thing is gone. This thing is gone. And you know, like I said, I told you guys, if we close below this line, it's it's going down, hundred percent. No questions asked. This thing is going down. It's about to go under 50. Oh, yeah. See it tanking here, guys? Oh, my God. <laughs> here it goes. Bye-bye, my, all my money. You know what I could do, though? I might just take a loss right here and get back in at 40. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think that's what I'm going to do. I might take this loss right here. I might take this loss. I'm really thinking about it. I don't know. Maybe I should just hold. If this if this candle if this uh thirty minute candle closes inside this zone, it's over. It's going down to forty cents. Or close to it. You would think, you would think, man. This could just be some huge conspiracy, too. I really just think like that. This could be just a huge conspiracy to get everyone in the freaking world to buy in, and then they just short it, and it just takes everyone's money. I don't know. That's just how I think. It seems shady, man. I've, I, it's, been a, it's been a minute since I've seen some, some shadiness like this is going on in the market. And I've only been trading stocks a little over a year, but, man, I picked a hell of a time to get into stocks. <laughs> really did. Really, really dead. It's pretty crazy. Pretty crazy time. Oh my god. I told you guys if we <laughs> so many people in the world are selling right now, they're so scared. They're probably watching this thing tank. Most of them aren't you gotta remember this. Most people are not looking at the charts, okay? They're not looking at the chart. They're just staring at their phone on their Robinhood app, watching the number go down, watching their bank their bankroll go down. Alright, and they're all freaking out and they're all selling right now. They're not watching the charts. They don't know that they're actually selling at a level of structure right here. All right, we know that because I'm telling you, and we're looking at it. So we know that right here, we're probably going to find support if it comes down this low. And it's probably going to go back up. But most people are just panic selling because they're not actually watching the charts. That's why there's so much power in these charts, right? Even if, you know, even in crypto, you can still look at, you can still look at and find structure levels, find levels of resistance, support, reversal zones, yada, yada, yada. All right, but this thing was due. This thing was due, guys. I mean, seriously. Here's a fib from from the beginning of the move. So, like I said, you can see even I mean, this is just me looking at it without even doing this. I told you about 40, 45 cents. The golden zone is right here. So, you're probably gonna see it come down in here, man. To be honest with you, I picked a crappy time to get in. I should have waited. I pretty much knew that that was gonna happen, like without without a doubt. Are you serious, Heather? Oh my God. That's what I'm saying, dude. Fuck Robin Hood. Guys, get your money out of Robin Hood. They're just stopping you from being able to sell. They're just, they're just hitting your stop losses. Oh my God, that is so fucking shady. That is so shady, man. I can't, I can't believe it. You, everybody's got to get their money out of Robin Hood immediately. That is insane. That is complete bullshit. It's so convenient, right? Oh, you can't sell your Doge now that it's tanking. Yeah, but you can buy it real quick. I bet if you put it on a buy right now, I'll probably let him. Oh, man, that's so, that's bad. That's so bad. Robinhood is so bad for the trading community. They're scumbags. They are freaking scumbags, man. I can't believe that. And there's nothing you can do about it. There's nothing you can do about it. There's nothing any of us can do about it. That's what's crazy about these markets is there's nothing that we can do. You can't go out. Who are you going to go after? I guess you could. You know what? Technically, I feel like you could sue them, dude. Honestly, like, 
I think you could sue them. <laughs> if their app is, is make if, if you lose money because their app doesn't work, I'm feeling like you, you have a lawsuit there. At least enough for, for it to be looked at. Because it's so convenient that you can't sell your you can't sell it uh, when it's tanking. That's the, that's BS. That's not cool at all. I will never use Robinhood again. I don't care. I hope Weevil doesn't do the same thing, man. I will never use Robinhood again. I really like their their platform. Their platform is absolutely amazing. It's probably the best in the whole league. But uh, they're just they just do so much shady stuff. I would not be able to. I would not feel comfortable putting even a dollar on there. Oh, he should be hung. yeah. He should be hung in public. <laughs> that guy should be hung in public for what he did. But guys, you got to remember this too. All brokers are shady. All right, they just are. I don't care who you're broken with. Uh, they're they're all who your brokerage is. They're all shady. They're all in it to get your money. And I would say ninety nine point nine 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 percent of them hedge against retail traders. So they're hedging against you every single time you make a bet. They're a trade. They're hedging against you. Guaranteed. So, get your money out of Robinhood, man. Do that immediately. I know it sucks to do it, but it only took about six days. You still keep your position, all right? You can still keep your whole position. Just do a full transfer to Weeble or something like that. Your money will go in limbo for about a week, but it, it will show up because it did it for me. And it, my position was the exact same. Because, guys, I want you to think about this. What are you going to do when, uh, when, you know, if you have Robinhood and Mavis pops off and it goes to 200 k or AMC? Imagine, imagine if AMC actually squeezes. And it squeezes to, to a thousand bucks, and you're trying to execute your trade, trying to sell, but it won't let you. And then you miss the squeeze because Robinhood is just—they're thieves, man. They're thieves. They really are. Oh, I wish there was someone to slap, but there's really not. And there's nothing we can do about it. That's the worst part about it. All right. So if this, this, there's nine minutes and twenty seconds left here, guys. If, if it closes below this, uh, if it closes below this, this line right here, we're—I mean, Doge is in for some trouble. It's more than likely coming back down. And I wish I had some I wish I had some dry powder loaded up. That's the only thing, bad thing about Weeble is that it takes so many days to have settled funds. It takes like so many days. It's the worst. It takes like three days to get your funds settled. So if, you know, even if you were to sell something during trading hours, you wouldn't be able to get it for like three days. Now you can you can use that uh that credit on stocks, but for crypto, it has to be settled funds or money that you transferred in. Yeah, I highly suggest you guys get out of Robinhood immediately. Like it's like literally Monday or now. Just cancel that shit. There's there's so many other brokers uh, brokers that are the platform might not be as good, but I feel like it, I feel like it's a safer bet. All right, you see this, guys? It did a hiccup right here at this level. Right here. It came down exact. Oh, my God. I can't make this stuff up, guys. Why am I so nasty with these call-outs? I mean, I'm just nasty with it. I'm just so nasty with it. Sometimes I just impress myself, and all I did was use, like, logic and reason and, like, a couple lines. I told you guys, if it came back under this, this level of structure right here, it's going to test this one. And it, and it did. It literally came right down to it. Right. It literally came right down to it. I mean, just right down to the exact spot I said it was. That's that's crazy. Uh, man, and I was thinking about it. I might start day trading crypto. I mean, it, it's so obvious. It's so nasty. I'm so nasty. <laughs> really, though. I'm nasty with these call-outs, man. It's crazy. It's, just, I just, it's like art. It's like art to me. Like, it's just, it all makes so much sense in my mind. It's just the way my brain works. My brain just works in a very, very weird way. I just, I don't know how to explain it. Some I I blow people's minds sometimes when when I when I'll show people something at poker and then the next time I see them they're like oh my god I did exactly what you said how did you do that I'm just like I don't know dude <laughs> I have no idea I mean I have a little bit of an idea but really this is pretty obvious though I mean there, like I said that's why Mavis is prep guys like I said there's nothing there wasn't much in here to stop us there was a little hiccup right here uh, on Doge right here you guys can see that a little hiccup oh that's too green. But after that, I mean, there's no, this is the next spot, so it really wasn't that difficult. Oh, Heather, you would, oh my God, you would love Forex. I swear I'm going to get back into it, man. I just, 
I don't know. I I'm like, I got so much going on right now. It's just hard for me to like multitask things during the day. And Forex, it takes a lot of time because I mean, you're, it's not like stocks where you just get in and wait. You can sw you can swing trade Forex. You can do that. But, you know, my style is breakout retest, so I have to just be sitting there staring at the screen for hours and hours and hours and hours and days sometimes just waiting for that consolidation area around supply and demand zones. And then, you know, then I get in for a trade or whatever, but it just takes a lot of time. But I might start, so I was thinking about starting some one-on-one -on -one trading with, with, you know, just this, this price action stuff. Like I said, there's a, there's a lot in these charts that people just really take for granted and really don't know about. Like I said, if, if, people, if people have a, a large position here and, you know, it tanked down here and they, all they're doing is staring at their screen, right? That's the worst way to trade, like in my opinion. Just staring at your screen, staring at your Robinhood account, just watching the numbers move. Like, no, man, get on the charts because if you did, you would know that you were still kind of safe. Right? Like, even if you had got in here, like where I did, like you guys see this, I'm still down money. I'm down 104 bucks. I was down 150 bucks. But like I said, I'm not going to, it would be dumb to close it because I know I'm safe here. This is, the, this is a really big level of support right here. So I knew that if it did come down here, it probably was going to find support and go back up. Right? But a lot of people just see their accounts tanking and they sell and they sell for a loss and they lose money because of it. But if they knew these charts and they knew where the levels of support and resistance were and structure, supply and demand, they wouldn't sell because they would know there was support there. You guys just got to learn these charts. He's talking about it? All right, let's see what happens. Keep me updated in the chat. I don't even care if you spam it. Just tell me what he's saying because there's no way for me to watch it. Oh, wow. Did you see that jump? Oh, my gosh. That thing jumped crazy. That was, like a, that was almost like a seven-cent jump. There we go. People are getting back in now. This is insane. And this is why I should have just been streaming this from the beginning. I probably could have hyped it up and had a really big stream, but this is a social this is this is proof of herd mentality. Like guys, you got to be careful with stuff like this because there's no real value behind Dogecoin. I don't care who if Elon Musk says there is or not. There's not. They can just create these out of thin air. They can just literally just push a button and create more. All right? This there's no real value, which means they can tank it any time as well. All right? So I don't believe in this for long term. I mean, maybe it could go to five dollars. Maybe it could go to ten dollars, but that doesn't mean it has actual value. That's just all FOMO. That's all FOMO. This all, that's all this is. I remember, guys. I go to I I talk to a lot of people at poker and other places. That nobody was talking about any of this stuff before the FOMO train kicked in. Right about here. All right. Right about uh, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen cents. All right. Nobody was talking about this. Now it's all anyone's talking about everywhere. So it's just herd mentality. You got to be careful. You can really lose a lot of money trying to jump on the FOMO train. What is he saying? What is he saying about it? He still can't sell. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. I swear, I feel like there's a lawsuit there. I I, I can just. There's no way. I mean, that's two times, right? Like you could bring up AMC, you could bring up GME, and you could bring up this right now. You would have a you would have a legitimate lawsuit against Robinhood. If you can prove if you, if you can prove like with screenshots, Heather, if I was you, I'd take pictures. Take your phone and take a picture of his phone when it's when it's telling you it won't sell. Take a picture of that shit. I would be taking pictures right now if it was telling me that. Because that's BS. That's not cool at all. Hit that like button for me, guys, if you guys are in here hanging out. I appreciate you hitting that. We're just chilling. We're going to hang out till the end of this and just, you know, we're just covering the price action here. I'm not going to stream it. Like I said, I'm not trying to get a copyright strike, but this is... This is looking like it's going to go back up to me. I don't think it's going to go lower than this. It could come to this golden zone. I don't think it will. I don't think it will. I think you're going to actually see a rise by the end of this. It depends on what he says, I guess, but like if he leaves with something if if, if he leaves the the show with something positive about Dogecoin, I a lot of people are just going to start buying in, especially at this level, knowing that it just hit 74 cents. They could I mean, it's not quite a double up, but it's pretty close. It's like 30%. I'm under 100 bucks now. Yay. <laughs> I 
I threw this in at the worst time ever. <laughs> That's so funny. What is Safe Moon at right now? Oh, it's pretty low still. This thing is just slowly growing though. Interesting. Yeah, I might YOLO in this. Honestly, I mean if it goes, it goes. This will be one of those things. If it just if it goes, it goes, you know. See, I did this though. I did, I did all this and I couldn't find it on there. I, sw I swear I did this. I'll try it again right now, but I, s I swear I did this. Safe trust wallet, right? Purchase BNB using. Okay, I didn't do that. I don't know. I'm not going to mess with that right now, actually. But yeah, no, if, if Robin Hood's doing that, like like I said, guys, nothing is coincidence, all right? I don't, I don't care what anybody says. I know. I got enough life experience. Nothing is coincidence, all right? So you got to remember how much money they make when this thing tanks. Everyone's got stop losses. New traders. All new traders trade with stop losses, guys. All right? I guarantee you. Like, they just do. It's the worst thing you can do, in my opinion. Because if you if you need a stop loss, then you don't believe in your investment. <laughs> you know what I mean? In my opinion, uh, unless you know, unless you use like a ten percent stop loss or whatever. But most new traders, they'll put a stop loss like fifty percent down, and you know if it gets hit, it gets hit. They lose their money. So you gotta remember that. They're they're Robinhood doesn't make money on their premium. They're five dollars a month. Okay, they make money on that, but that's not where they make their real money. They make money on margin calls. They make money on you, you know, getting your stop loss hit. They make a lot of money with that. And they targeted the millennial trader. They made the they made the platform so perfect, so easy, so smooth, so easy to put your money on there. And then they just get you get wrecked on there, right? They make it so easy to get wrecked. <laughs> so you got you got to learn these charts. And also, don't be investing in something that you don't believe in. That's like that's like the main reason I wouldn't even get in Dogecoin here. You know, when it was at like twenty nine cents, I was just not feeling it, man. Even though I would have made a lot of money, it's just if I don't believe in something, it's like I'm not gonna invest in it. I'm not going to put a, a substantial amount of money. I might yellow $500 or $1,000 just to, just to see like I did here. But, you know, you see where this got me. I'm down 113 bucks. Normally, I don't lose money in trading, guys. I honestly don't. I feel like I'm in the top top 2%. I really don't ever lose money in trading. No lie. And, in fact, I don't know if I've actually – I mean, I've lost a little bit maybe, but not much. So it's not normal for me to be, you know – stuck like this on a bad investment. I usually don't make bad investments. Scalping is good, though. If you could scalp it, yeah, for sure. But scalping, uh, that's what I was trying to do. But, you know, you scalp it up here at where it's at. It's like, it, I mean, this thing was just, this thing has not really retraced. It did a 50% retracement here. If you guys see this, I'll show it to you. It did do a 50% retracement from here. So if I drew, like, actually a little bit more. We'll just do it from the big move. We'll do it from, like, right here. No, nah, we'll do it from here. The actual move. So it did actually did a 78.6 retracement. Which is actually quite a bit, but it didn't go below it, so that's still uh, still bullish. And you see what happened off that 78.6, just big move up. But if I pull it all the way to the top up here, the retracement is going to be back down. You know, a 50% retracement would put it at about 40 cents, which is kind of like where I told you guys it would go. You got to be careful with stop losses. <laughs> now, Forex is different. And, and, you know, I understand a stop loss if you're trading on margin or you're trading on leverage or whatever and you're, you're, over, you're over leveraged. I understand stop losses because I do trade with a stop loss. Just so you know, on Forex, I do trade with a stop loss, right? But that's because I'm, I'm, I'm 301 leverage and the, the money, you know, if something happens and my, my, you know, my read is wrong and it starts tanking in the other direction, then, you know, I'll just cut my losses. But a lot of the times, even in Forex, sometimes I don't trade with a stop loss uh, if I truly believe in the setup. Because I know that there's going to be some drawdown, right? There's going to be some drawdown, usually. 
That's why your entry points in Forex are so important because you got to get in at the perfect moment. Otherwise, you're going to be in drawdown. And if you have a stop loss set, you might get hit. You might get stopped out. And then as soon as you get stopped out, it goes back to where it was supposed to go. So it's, it's just there's like a common ground. You got to find it, you know. But trading with a stop loss on here is like, okay, if you had your stop loss set, like if I was going to use a stop loss on this, just so I'll just show you guys. If I was going to use a stop loss, it wouldn't have been where most people put it. My stop loss would have been like literally maybe a little under the structure. So maybe like, you know, stop loss would have been like right here. At about four, like literally 40 cents. Because if it breaks all these levels, like if it breaks this level, if it breaks this level, if it breaks these levels and cl it starts closing, then it, it might be all right to use a stop loss down here at 40 cents and get back in on the right up. But, you know, if you put your stop loss like up here, that's retarded, right? It doesn't even make sense. You're putting your stop loss somewhere it's probably for sure going to go. It's at least going to come down here and touch this level right here. So it wouldn't have been smart. You would have got stopped out right here. And a lot of people probably did that. They probably did have a stop loss at like 50 cents. And they got hit right here. And then now look at it. Now it's going to go back up. So you got to be careful with your stop losses. You got to know where to put them. You, gotta be, you can't just put a stop loss just to put it. You got to put it at structure. Because if you're not putting it at structure, then you're just, you're just guessing. you know, And that's just not smart. And I, I almost guarantee you, a lot of people probably had a stop loss somewhere like right here between 50 and 55 cents, uh, just random stop loss, no real reason. Just, they're just like, oh, okay, if it goes below 50 cents, I'll just, I'll just whatever. And they got stopped out here. And you, now you see it's reversing. So you got to do stop losses at structure. I hate to start preaching, but it's just true. I want you guys to learn this because I know the value of this. I know the value of the stuff I preach, and I want you guys to know it too. You've got to be doing everything at structure. You can't, just, you can't just jump in a trade like, okay, for example, everyone wants to say for a long time on the stream, they say, well, you know, if you think Mavis is going up long term, why not just get in now? Well, because there's a big difference in me getting, if Mavis is trading at $14 and, you know, it drops all the way to ten dollars. It would suck for me to get in at fourteen dollars because then I'm gonna be down on the trade. Even if it goes down to ten and goes back up, if I waited until it got to ten dollars, then I would make a lot more money on the way up. Thumbs up in the chat if that makes sense because I feel like I explained that right. So if Mavis is trading at fourteen dollars and I know it's gonna be a hundred dollar stock, getting in at fourteen is not smart unless it's at structure. If there's structure at ten dollars. Why would I get in at 14, get in drawdown, and then see the bounce off 10, and then it goes up? Why wouldn't I just wait for it to hit structure, get in, and then make more money on the way up? You know what I'm saying? Like, it just, you gotta be doing this stuff at structure. You can't just jump in whenever, in my opinion. And some people do it, and you know, it, it works out in the long run. But if you wanna maximize your gains, you gotta be doing this at structure, right? Structure, structure, structure. I cannot stress it enough, man. It's so important. Like right here would have been a nasty spot to get in, all right? This would have been a great spot to get in. As soon as it tanked, as soon as it got down here at like 44 cents, this would have been a, a nice, nice entry. And that's what I should have did. But and I probably would have did that. But I was just thinking, you know, when I FOMO tra I did I told everybody I was FOMOing five hundred dollars in <laughs> to Dogecoin. I got in at sixty six cents just to, you know, play games. But if I was really sitting here looking at this, uh, I would have waited until it got down here to structure. Like I said, if it closed below this one, it's coming to 40 cents. There's nothing stopping it, right? There's nothing stopping it. Once it gets below this line right here, there's nothing in here really. There's a little hiccup, which was a little demand zone, but you see here it didn't even stop. So it was coming to 40 cents or whatever this is, 44 cents. Uh, almost guaranteed. <laughs> so, you know, you got to do this stuff with structure. I could I could actually been up. Uh, 200 bucks, you know what I mean? 100 bucks. Instead of being down right now, I'm in drawdown right now, and now I'm just bag holding, hoping that Mavis gets back up to 66 cents. In which case, I'll probably just exit the trade because I'm not even trying to. I'm not even trying to do it anymore. I don't think it's going to go that far. People thought it was going to go to a dollar. It could. It could go to five dollars over time. But there's just no real value behind this, dude. I can't. I can't. I can't put any real money in here because I'm just wor too scared. <laughs> I'm too worried about it. But we'll see, I guess. I mean, at this point, I'm bag holding, just trying to break even. What all did they say about it on uh, on SNL? It's got to be over by now. Anybody know what they said or what he said about Doge? The good news for Doge is that it got back above this level of of structure right here, so.
That's what he said? Is that what you're asking, or is that what he said? No, Doge is completely different, my friend. Um, Doge has, there's, there's no limit, right? There's only a certain amount of Bitcoins left, all right? I mean, like I said, there's only, there's a capped amount of Bitcoins, all right? So there'll never be any more. But with Dogecoin, it can just be unlimited. There's just, it's just like the dollar. They just keep printing more dollars. It makes it less and less valuable. You know what I'm saying? Like the more money they print, the less money is worth. Just like Dogecoin, the more Dogecoin, it, that's why it's a bubble. Just like the dollar, guys. Just like the dollar, they have to crash the markets in order to stabilize everything. They th these ec economic crashes in the world, you see, they're not just random. Okay, they happen strategically. Because if they don't, then the dollar will just they'll just keep printing more and more money. All right, and uh, they'll keep printing more and more money, and it'll inflate, and then the dollar will be not be worth shit. All right, they won't be worth anything. At some point, it just keeps doing that. So they have all these things that they're sinking money into, you know, war and, you know, uh, all this social security and all this stuff, you know, all those trillions that went missing at the Pentagon. You got <clears throat> you guys remember that. So it's like, you know, you could just print unlimited Dogecoin forever and ever and ever, and it will lose value over time. And that's, you know, that bubble is going to bust at some point. That's it's more of a reason to not invest in it. I mean, like I said, who knows when that bubble will be? The bubble couldn't. I mean, the bubble might break at five dollars on Dogecoin. Who knows? But at some point, there's no way to recover it unless you tank it. There's no way to recover the 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 value, the alleged value of Dogecoin unless they tank it. All right, they need to make it worth something again. It's not really worth anything if it goes up to five dollars. At that point, it's like, what is this worth? <laughs> Down here. You know, okay, it might be worth a trade because, you you know, FOMO and not a lot of people have it. And it's just, you know, but once it gets to five bucks, that just means so many people have it already. They're just printing more and more and more. And then the bubble breaks and then it, it tanks and everybody loses all their money. It's the same thing with the dollar, man. The dollar is no, the dollar is even worse. The dollar is even worse. Because they literally just sit there and print money every day, all day. And they inflate the economy, and then they tank it every you know decade or so to stabilize their whatever they're doing, and it's just it's very obvious. That's why we need to get away from the currency that we use, in my opinion. And crypto can do it, but like I said, there's conspiracy behind everything. So, I mean, there's conspiracy behind Bitcoin. There's consp I mean, there just is. The government probably created Bitcoin, guys. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I'm just being honest. They probably created it. Who knows? Who knows? I'm just kind of watching this. What is it, 54 cents? I'm down $99.53. I just want to break even. I don't want to be holding this bag for more than another 30 minutes. Let's get it up. But I probably will YOLO safe moon, safe moon, guys. I probably will. It's low enough to where I think if it did pop off, it could probably make some money. So I don't think it's too late, honestly. Definitely want to get in on Safe Moon. Don't mind putting money in that I'm not that I'm not willing to lose. So I don't know. Maybe Monday I'll put it. Maybe Monday I'll put in like two or three k. See what happens, and just let it ride. Because guys, I'm telling you right now, if Dogecoin can do this, I feel like something like Safe Moon can do it. You know, honestly, I mean, this is just like proof. This this is like if 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 anything. This is proof that altcoins can just take off off FOMO, all right? So if there's enough momentum behind it, it can just move. All right, and who knows who's really moving this market? I know there's a lot of retail traders doing it, but, you know, the big moves, we already know, guys, the real money is what, is what moves markets, all right, not the retail trader. So maybe Elon is putting gazillions of dollars into this to make it move. I don't know. I don't know. What's up, Andrew? And new? You got 60 million safe moon, bought with 20 bucks. Nice. How'd you do it? Through a trust wallet? I'm going to do it. I just haven't had the time to sit down and figure it out, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Yeah, tell your boy I said, what's up, man? 592? Nice, dude. Oh, leave that in there, bro. Don't take that out. Don't take that out. When'd you get in?
Do you have to use an iPhone? Because it says do it on an iPhone. Pancake swap. It's just so much freaking work. God, what what's the... How do you even pull out of it? Like, how do you even sell it when you're ready to sell? It looks like so much work. All right, Doge, back up at 55 cents. I'm down quite a bit on my investment. I'm down, I'm down a good, what is it, almost 20%? Oh, a little less now, 82, kind of, kind of going back up. We'll see what happens. If, this, if I get to even, I don't know, guys. I might, just, I might pull the plug. We'll see. But if it gets to even real quick, I might not because I think it might, it might go back up to 75, 80 cents, and maybe I could take a $100 profit or something like that. Pancake swap. Okay, I'll have to figure it out because I, honestly, I do want to YOLO in this. I've been looking for something to just YOLO some money into, and maybe this could be it. Who knows? If Dogecoin can do this shit, then so can Save Moon, I guess. What was Dogecoin at? 0046, and what's Safe Moon at? Is this the better way to just do it through pancake swap? I mean, what is this? So you have to buy BNB first, right? That's like the first step. You have to buy BNB, right? That makes me nervous. That makes me so nervous. They could just pull the plug on this and everybody lose all their money. <laughs> and what are you going to do about it? Who are you going to call? Who are you going to call Ghostbusters? <laughs> I'm not going to put a crap ton of money in there just because I don't trust it, but I might put a thousand bucks in there. I'll put, I'll, put, I'll put this in there right now if I can just get back to even. They could just pull the plug on that. You can't even buy it with legit money. You have to buy BNB first and then go here. That kind of covers their ass. I feel like that's like so shady, but maybe, I mean, I don't know. This guy says don't get in uh, safe and pump. I'm, not, I I'm okay with the pump and dump. I'm completely fine with that. Like, I'm, that's actually what I'm looking for. <laughs> I'm looking for something to pump and dump. But, uh, you know, if I can pump, if I can pump a thousand to fifty thousand and get out real quick, that would be, that would be really nice. Oh, but by the time it's listed on Coinbase or some or Binance and stuff, like it's gonna be too high. Well, it's not gonna be too high, but you're trying to get in before that happens, you know. He says get in BLSP. What is that? BLSP. Oh, Blue Sphere. That's the one that uh, Jason was talking about. I've looked into this before. I hope you guys are having a good evening tonight, by the way. We got 40 people in here. Thank you guys for just hanging out with me. I appreciate it. Let's look at this. Oof. What happened here? This must have been news. Oh my god, what am I looking at? Holy crap. What the heck? What the heck? This is trading at 90. Was this a split? What happened here? Holy crap. Are you serious? This thing at its peak was at $18,000 a share. What? I'm so confused right now. I'm so confused. <laughs> oh, man. This created some... Oh, I bet so many people lost so much money. I don't even know. I, I don't know anything about this company, but that is insane. Why did it, why did it tank 20 k That's nuts. And they didn't do anything for this whole time? This kind of looks like Microvision. I mean, look at the chart setup. It looks the exact same. Like they were they were balling over here, then they reverse split, and then it came down, did nothing for 10 years. When was this? This was in 2012. So yeah, this is another 10 year. Jason might be onto something with this one. He might be onto something. Very weird structures here. 
Oh, that's a one minute. Get out of here. It's still pretty weird. Doge is up 50 to 56 cents. So he didn't say anything of value or what? Did, Doge, did uh, Elon say anything of value at all? Or was it completely FOMO and he didn't say a goddamn thing about it? Because it really feels like he didn't say anything about Dogecoin. I mean, maybe he said something, but it doesn't look like it was enough to, to do anything except tank this down to 40 cents. Come on, baby. I don't want to be bag holding. Let's go. I want to break even. Yeah, it was so weird. Oh, his mom did say that. I hope you didn't give me Dogecoin. Dude, this thing's going to tank. The, the, the stuff that they say is so scripted. I, oh, my God. That's, this is going to tank, dude. I would get out of this. I'm not even trying to scare anybody, but, man, if it, you're right. His mom did say that, and it's so scripted. It's so scripted. You, you saw them reading from the teleprompter, so she read that. It wasn't like she just, it wasn't that she just said it. Like they, the same thing as the news anchors, guys. When they read stuff the government wants them to say, they're reading it off the TV. <laughs> they're reading it. So that was, that was on purpose that she said that. I just, I don't know. I, I think like that. So I'm going to get out. I, I swear. As soon as I break even, I'm gone. If I even do. If I even do break even. Oh, Heather, I'm glad you were able to get out. I'm sorry that you couldn't sell when you tried to. That sucks, man. That's, that's the worst. Oh, I'd be so pissed. Oh, my God. I'd be so mad. I was mad when I was trying to buy. Uh, I was trying to buy. I, guys, I would have made a lot of money on GME, too, because I was trying to buy it on, on Robinhood as soon as all that happened, and I couldn't execute a trade. I couldn't get my, I couldn't even, it's not that my order couldn't get filled. I was getting the same kind of error. Like I was getting an error on the app. It, it wasn't that my order wasn't getting filled. I couldn't even get an order, an open order going. Yeah. So that sucks. But this is interesting. I mean, uh, look at a four hour chart. Oof. The cup and handle did not play out on this one. But it kind of does look like it might be uh, maybe looking at a reversal here. I don't know. The next real level is like right here. This thing could go up. Can you even buy this on uh, Weeble? I don't think you can. BLSP. Oh, yeah, you can. BLSP. I see it. Did you guys hear Ori scream? She's playing a video game. <laughs> oh, uh, Nick Cordova. Thanks, brother. <laughs> Five dollar super chat. Are y'all doing this again? Heather has nothing on me. <laughs> oh man, you guys were popping off the other day. I'm not even gonna lie. You guys were good. That was that was. I don't think I've ever had a 500 plus super chat day. That was that was crazy. I really appreciate that. That was awesome. Uh, yeah, you can buy you can buy a blue sphere on on Weeble. You can. I see it right here. Oh no, you can't. No, you cannot. It says this stock is not supported for trading. So you cannot buy it on Weeble right now. Someone put a comment. Maybe someone can say where you can buy it. TD Ameritrade, I guess, maybe. $5 
550? <laughs> I don't know if we'll ever have another $500 Super Chat day, man. That was, that was a spectacle. Something would have to seriously happen. Something would have to seriously happen. 56 cents on Dogecoin. It's kind of just chilling. I mean, there's not much to talk about, you know? It's just at a standstill. No nothing's happening with it. What's up, Swatch405? I think uh, for, for us to get another <laughs> Super Chat day like that, I think Mavis is going to have to have some kind of, some kind of crazy news or some crazy jump. I just can't wait till it gets back to 30. That's, that's going to be so good. Uh, we've all been waiting so long for that. If you if you're guys are joining the channel of Dogecoin and you guys don't know what Microvision is, uh, it's stock ticker MVIS. It's something that you're going to make money on, so definitely look into it. <laughs> Heather said you need to send another $500 to catch up with me. <laughs> she has hooked it up, dude. I'm not going to lie. She's, she's been hooking it up. She is a true, true supporter. And Heather, it just means so much to me. Both of you guys, all of you, even the ones that sent a dollar super chat, thank you so much. Every single penny goes towards the channel, basically. So uh, still trying to recoup the losses for the computer I bought. But yeah, no, thank, thank you all so much. 55, I don't know. It's just not even moving at all now, which is super weird, right? Let's go down to a lower time frame. This thing is at a standstill right now. She paid for my doge. <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. Heather's getting a Heather's getting a hoodie and a hat. Heather, oh guys, by the way, I got the hats from Ron. I got the I got the microvision hats from Ron. Uh we're gonna give those out on Monday. On Monday we're gonna do that. So Heather, you got a hat and a hoodie coming and a shirt. I just gotta get it all in. Alright. I had to order new shirts. Everyone that won a shirt, you're still getting a shirt, dude. You're still getting a shirt. I just had to order new ones because the ones I ordered were just complete trash. And I guess you get what you pay for when it comes to getting shirts printed. But they were just garbage. But yeah. All right, let's see. Dogecoin is just chilling. I don't know if it's even going to move anymore tonight. The only good news is that it got back above structure, so that's good. 85 bucks. Man, I might just take the loss and get out of this. It's just... I, I don't want to get caught back holding this, even though it could easily just jump back up. I don't know. I don't know. Where are we at? Let's go to the 30 real quick. Whoops. All right, let's remove these. So price is right here. All right, so pri right now the price is at a level of of resistance. All right, it was support here, but now it's kind it got to it's got to get back through it. So it's got to get above fifty six cents. Really, you guys see all the touch points here. Uh, I'll draw them in, but I know you guys can see them. We got these two. We got this one basically. We got this one. This action. Uh, you know. So we got a bunch of touch points here. This is going to be the hurdle, I guess, for it, but it's not going to be the hurdle. It'll, it'll definitely get back over there. Nick Cordova, thank you so much for another super chat, man. Thank you, brother. 515 on the super chat. Thank you. Always appreciated, my friend. Especially on the bad days. It makes the bad days not as good, you know, or not as bad. And if I could super chat you, I would do it right back. 56 cents. I'm down $83 on this trade. <laughs> That's just the worst entry. 66 cents. Like, what was I thinking? What was I thinking? Just so dumb. It's like the stupidest trade I ever made. A key you should make a key ring with your logo on it out of plastic. Oh, I see what you're saying. Nick Cordova says, I will drop a bill, girl. Let's get down. <laughs> Oh, man. The support is so good. Thank you, guys. $84 negative. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Are you guys invested in Doge? If you're invested in Doge, uh, 
you know, shout out to you. Honestly, I mean, I hope you guys made money on this. I hope it doesn't come off like I'm hating because I'm really not. Uh, but it's just, I, I don't know. It's just so, it's hard for me to make an investment on something I don't believe in. And I think that's a good habit to have, to be honest. I think it's a good habit to have. Because like I said, if I, and the fact that I missed it kind of sucks. But, you know, if I didn't believe in it back here, which, oh, I'm just so tilted. Because if I would have just said, screw it, YOLO, <laughs> I would have made so much money. Oh, my God. That's life-changing money. 360k that's a that's a that's a huge huge jump to my bankroll so that would have been that would have been nasty nick cordova you're a, you're a gangster man you are a straight og on this channel appreciate the love uh let's see safe moon i, I am gonna get in this I, i'm gonna get in safe moon i've already made the decision i'm gonna put a thousand in here probably monday just to see, I'll yolo a thousand. I mean, if if somehow I can turn a thousand into ten thousand, that's that's a insane profit. So insane ROI. I'll do it. This guy turned twenty bucks into six hundred. So I don't know. That's pretty. That's pretty incredible. Any buyouts on the table from Mavis? No, not yet. I mean, maybe. Not that we know of. Not that we know of. Nick Cordova said, oh, I will drop a bill, girl. Let's get down. Oh, okay. I already read that. Uh, I'm sorry, bro. I lost a dog a while back, but animals are my love. Yeah, me too, man. Me too, honestly. Yeah, it's, it's tough, you know. Uh, she was really old. It's just, you know, I honestly, to be honest, I'd never really seen a dog, like, die like that. So it kind of really, part of my French, but it fucked me up. Like, it was, it was bad, man. It was. I'm not gonna go into details. I mean, but you know, it was relatively quick. Uh, you know, but she, man, she had a hard time for the last hour. Pretty bad. So, uh, but you know, it is what it is, man. We're all gonna face that someday, unfortunately, one way or another, right? So, you know, it kind of, you know, whenever I hear, whenever I hear about someone, you know, on Facebook or you know, his friends that pass away or whatever, people's parents, it just really makes me think about my own mortality. You know, it's like one day I'm gonna face that. And so it's just, I don't know. It kind of just messed me up to see it happen in real life right in front of me. It's, you know, to watch, to watch something be there and then not, you know. To go from being a conscious, sentient being to just a shell, an empty shell. It's, it's crazy. It gives me peace, actually, also. You know, it, gives me, uh, it makes me feel good about my existence, <laughs> you know. Because it wouldn't make sense for it to just end when you die. So we won't get too deep in it. But I, I definitely think that there's the consciousness and your awareness lives on after you leave this avatar 50 cents on uh dogecoin so it dropped it dropped below that level again it did drop below that level nick cordova said i've watched yeah it's hard i've watched them put my boy down and still hurts eight years later ah yeah man and pets are your best friends they're just so innocent man all they want to do is love you, you know, and just look back and all you can do is give them a good life. That's what we try to do here. We've rescued a few animals, man, like a few cats, you know, we found homes for. I know you guys have been following the channel. You guys know I've, I've rescued and rehomed a few cats. We just actually just got a video. If you guys remember Mr. Cat, the one that had the he used to chill outside with me. He came back with like a really messed up leg and we, we took him in and uh Got him all fixed up, let him hang out here for a couple months and just get better. He, we just got a video from the people we rehomed him to, and it's a video of him like playing on, the, playing on his uh, cat tree and just having a great time. It feels good, you know, because if we hadn't did that, he would have died for sure, 100%. So it feels good, you know. It's hard to rescue animals because you get attached to them. It's real hard. It was hard to let him go, dude. I almost didn't do it. I almost did not do it. We almost ended up keeping... Keeping him and having five freaking cats. Like, just, oh my god. <laughs> 52 cents. Oh no, 56 cents. I don't know. I don't know what Doge is going to do. All I know is I'm down 100 bucks. 108 bucks. On this very, very trashy, terrible investment. Like, just the absolute worst. The absolute worst investment of my life. <laughs> 60 cents. 60 cents. 66 cents on Dogecoin entry point when i knew it was going to go down it's the absolute worst 
Nick, thank you for that 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 third super chat, my friend. I appreciate you, buddy. Pull the fib up. You want to see a fib? All right, we'll see if we'll show a fib. I got it. We got it. the thing about fib is though, guys, it only works if you actually find the right spots. All right. So I guess if we pull a fib from, let's use let's use this retracement here to here. Look at this. It makes perfect sense. You can't make this stuff up. That's why I knew it was going down because I actually remember pulling it from here. So literally, a f an, it it literally retraced exactly fifty percent. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Exactly fifty percent. Straight down to the 50% right on the top of the golden zone and wicked off. This is me. You can't make that up I knew that was gonna happen too. I don't know why I got in that was a that was a trashy investment That was a trash investment Just the worst Highly regret it even though you know, I'm only down 100 bucks. It's still you know, I don't like losing money Nick Cordova Thank you, man. So yeah, I mean, this this basically did a 50% retracement. This was really quick, though. This dropped here like within like five minutes. Came back up. I'm trying. I'm trying to like get a, a reasonable expectation of where this is gonna be in the next couple days, but it's just too hard. Well, that's what she said. <laughs> oh my god. All right, but yeah, no, um, I don't know where this is going to go. It's kind of impossible to tell. I mean, it could come back down in this golden zone. It could go lower, guys. This thing could just completely tank off. It could just, it, this thing could go back down all the way. Who knows? Who knows? It's just, it's so risky. It's super duper risky. I mean, it just is. But, you know, there's, with risk, with big risk comes big reward. So if you would have, you know, if you would have yoloed anywhere under twenty cents, you would or thirty cents, you would have got stupid paid. Lemieux says, "My three dogs, thanks you ah oh, for sure, brother." Uh, let's see, Golden Zones, we did that. Richard Ireland says, "You should have put your money on Mavis." Question mark. Oh yeah, but I don't like to get in Mavis unless it's at structure, right? So. I'm waiting uh, for some confirmation. I'm not going to add on Mavis anytime soon. I've already got a lot in there. So I, I, I pretty much have my, I'm not going to put any more money into microvision guys. Just so you know, the investment is what it is. I got about 25 K in there. So we're going to leave it, leave the 25 K and you know, I know it's going to grow over time. Uh, let's see. Nick Cordova says you, you all boys want this man to do this for free. Get in boys. <laughs> always supporting man. Always supporting <laughs> much love to you, my friend. All right, Headstock says, was up 143% on Doge. Could plummet even worse any second. Up 100 now. Get out, dude. <laughs> no, I'm not going to tell you that, man. But if you're up 100%, oof. I don't know. I don't know. If we pull a fib from here, all right, this thing still has some room to go down. It could come down to this between this, like, 32 and 40 cent range. Oh yeah, no, Mavis is Mavis could pop off, guys. Honestly, I mean, it really can. I'm not just saying that. All right, I'm not just saying that. Microvision is literally prepped for takeoff. I mean, the chart just looks so freaking bullish. It's just unreal. It's unreal. Let me just move all this crap. It's unreal. This is just, I mean, it's just sl been slow and steady. But, you know, the consolidation has been pretty wide range. But if you look at this, I mean, we're just going up. We're just going up on microvision. There's that's all that's happening here. So I mean, what else can you really ask for? You know, your your stock prices, your stock is going up. Now, if you got in up around 20 bucks, you are kind of bag holding right now. But, you know, this is we're in a bullish channel, right? You guys see this. We're going up, but we're consolidating, right? We it's a huge area of consolidation. So that's why the swings are so big. But we're already back down at the bottom, so it's just time to go back up. We already know this thing isn't going to just tank. All right, it's not just going to tank under, you know, nine, eight dollars. It's not going to happen. Can it come down to 975? This little area right here? Yes, it could. It could come down to 975. All right, but it's, I don't think it's going to. It wouldn't really make sense at this point. 
All right, so for all you bag holding uh, MVIS, just know we're already basically almost at the bottom of this trend line. So if it does not break out and it comes down and tests down here, you know, at 11 bucks, 11 15, that's not the end of the world. All right, that, it's even better for you because if it starts reversing, you already know to buy some calls here. It wouldn't be a bad idea to buy calls now, but if you wanted to buy calls at this trend line, that would be a really, really nice investment because it's probably going to make another higher high and come up around $30. Right angle says, James, you still plan on taking profit at 25? Yeah, I do. If it, if we get there with no news, I do. All right, I'm not gonna lie, I will. Uh, at 25 bucks, I'm for sure taking profit or around somewhere around there. So if it gets up, you know, somewhere up in here, you know, in this little zone, where is it? You know, anywhere from like anywhere up in here, really. If we get up in this area, all right, I'm probably gonna take some profit. Maybe 30%, you know, pull, pull out my almost my original investment and wait for a dip and get back in. That's that's the goal for me at this point. So. Is Doge dead? No, I don't think it's dead, but I mean, it definitely it definitely did a, a full 50% retracement off this retracement. So from here to here, it's done 50%. All right, from here to here, fifty percent retracement on the dot. What it's gonna do in the future, I don't know, man. It's hard to say. But honestly, if I had been in Doge, I would have sold, dude. I would have sold off at seventy four cents. I swear to God, I would have been out of there, man. If I got in anywhere under twenty cents, I would have been out at seventy four cents. This thing is due for a crash. This isn't Ethereum, you know what I mean? This is this is Ethereum has real value. What if we see a boom scare on the shareholder meeting? Oh man, that would be that'd be perfect, man. Hopefully, he actually says something. You know, hopefully, there's just something there. But like I said, there's some correlation. Some people are trying to connect dots with Ford. You know, they're having an announcement. I don't know. Is Ford having a shareholder meeting, or what are they doing on that day? Is it some? Is it an announcement, or is it a meeting for the stockholders? I gotta I gotta figure that out. But there's some that it's like three hours before our uh, shareholder meeting. So I don't know. A lot of the times, the company's acquiring something from another company or the company as a, as a whole uh, announce it first. But like I said, guys, Microvision's in the running with AR, so Ford doesn't need AR. I mean, they're, I mean, I guess they could for display for display HUD, but I don't see them buying out the whole company. I just really don't. I don't see it happening. Fireside chat? Oh, okay. Doge is up 54 cents, up to 54 cents. <clears throat> Might be making a little run back up here. A little bullish candle happening with some wick. Look at the 15. But Mavis, guys, Mavis is looking to, to, to pounce, to pop. It really is, like no lies. We broke out this wedge. There's two wedges happening here. Let's draw them in. First one was here. first one was there we broke out all right I mean at the end of the day as long as it as long as it really kind of holds I mean you can see here we, we closed above structure you see these touch points right here uh, this whole area right here is structure all right this whole entire area so we closed pretty much above we closed above structure all right this golden line, I'm not going to use that as gold because that's golden zone material, but we'll do something like this. So we, clo we, we broke out, we retraced pretty much 50%. It looks like about 50%. Yeah, about 61.8%. Well, so we broke out, we retraced 61.8%, and now you know we've closed and found support you know, at another level of support. So that's good. We could easily make a, a move off this. It wouldn't be that hard.
Is that for Ford or just mi Microvision? Down a hundred bucks. Damn you, Dogecoin. This was the worst trade. <laughs> I can't believe I had 500,000 Dogecoin. Like, oh my God. That is, that is just crazy. Gee, that's so, that's so tilting. But like I said, it, it, when I really think about it, it doesn't tilt me too much because I would have been out, guys. I know myself, right? I would not have rode this all the way to 74 cents. I just wouldn't have. I would have doubled up 10,000 and got out. And maybe I get back in on the way up, but which probably would have, but I don't know. Yeah, Microvision, yeah, but I'm saying Ford has a um, Ford has some kind of announcement on the 26th, something. Let's see, May 26th, Capital Markets Day. I don't know what Capital Markets Day is, but that's what's that's what's happening on the 26th for them. June 18th calls are looking pretty good, man. June 18th calls are looking pretty good. Premiums are looking good. This doesn't look like a bad spot, to be honest. Oh my god, I just want to break even on this stupid trade. This was the this was a dumb trade. <laughs> Cuz right now it's just at a standstill. I don't even know what's happening with it. It's like it's just literally just dead standstill. Well, guys, uh, you know, this is pretty much over, so there's not really much to to talk. I'll look at one more thing for you. Who said something? Look at this shib. All right, I don't know what shib is. But we'll look at it if it's on here. Is it on here? Oh, I have seen this. Yeah, yeah, I've seen this. Shib. This is the... This is the other dog coin. God. <laughs> this stuff is just like... It's like a joke at this point. It's on Coinbase? Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> That's funny. I mean, who knows, man? I mean, at this point, it's so oversaturated with cryptos. It's like in altcoins. There's just so there's too many of them. How can how can crypto have any value when there's just altcoin after altcoin coming out with no value? And it's just like, it's almost just like it's the, there's no difference than that in like Earth Two. There's no difference. This only has value because people are putting money into it. There's no real value here. Same with Dogecoin. It only has value because people believe it has value and they're putting money into it. That's it. That's why it's like the altcoins is just like, I don't know. I haven't found an altcoin that really like made me feel like it had value in the, in the, in the crypto market, you know? Like this stuff, like I said, I mean, I mean, I'm not being a hater here. All right. I'm not being a hater, but the only real reason that this is moving up is because people have a belief in their head that there's. Oh, there's value, but the value only comes from the price moving up. And the price is only moving up because people are putting money in it. And people are only putting money in it because of FOMO. They don't want they want to make money. They don't really believe that, you know, twenty years from now people are gonna be using freaking Dogecoin to pay for things. Like they're only getting in because they want to make money. Alright, that's it. It's called FOMO. It's a it's a FOMO train. Lemieux, it's two dollar super chat. Thank you, my friend. Says CLF, please. Thank you for doing what you do. I'll look at CLF. Give me one second here. What is CLF? Cleveland Cliffs? Is this the right one? Is this it? CLF? Cleveland Cliffs? It's a mining company. I don't think that that's, I don't know. See, for me, like, stuff like this, it doesn't seem like, I don't know. I'm not really thinking that the future is going to be in, in mining, like, natural resources. I think it all becomes digital, man. 
It all becomes electric. It all becomes digital. But maybe steel has a future. Maybe steel has a future. I think in the medium in the medium term, uh, yeah, steel is still obviously still used. But I think in the future, I don't know if that's going to be actual, if it's going to be like worth what it is today. But like I said, this stuff is something that I really don't know a lot about. So I'm just kind of trying to draw some levels in here and look at it for you. Let's check out a let's check out the big time frame. So this company was this a reverse split or what happened here? <laughs> Probably was a reverse split. Maybe not. This was in 2011. So 2008 was the spike. Had a nasty two or three years and came back in 2011. Had a big drop off. So I mean, crap. I mean, the you know the chart is bullish. I mean, if that if that means anything to you, the chart looks kind of bullish. It definitely looks like it might be making another run up. I mean, when is this? This was uh, what a couple years back. So a steel shortage. Oh, okay. See, I don't know about that. So there's a steel shortage. Okay, that makes sense. But I mean, if this, I mean, yeah, this could be making a run up. It, it kind of looks like it. Right now, it's right at, you see, it's right at this level. Well, no, it's not, not yet. So I feel like it probably at least has this, mo this much room to go. If it's already made this move, it's probably going to come up here and touch this. I would, I would suspect maybe this 2750. I could see it going up there. I could definitely see it going up there. I mean, like I said, I don't know anything about the company or their earnings or anything like that, so I'm just doing this based strictly off, you know, the chart. But if it if it broke up in this zone and it's closed on the monthly, let's check the four hour. Could probably easily see it make that move back up because you see right here on this move it did. So now that it's finally back up in this zone, yeah, dude. I mean, it, it, you probably commit. You could probably swing this for a couple weeks. Heather, Heather said, Nick, I'm not easily bullied. I said $500 to catch up, not $5. <laughs> so do it, she said. I already have. You're behind. <laughs> you guys are crazy. <laughs> I'm going to lose my shit if somebody puts a $500 super chat. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, anyways, back to CLF for you real quick. I think this might be a, a nice little swing. Uh, I think you could probably easily ride this up to 27 bucks. I mean, looking at it, there's not a real reason why it should just come back down and tank, right? I mean, if they're if they're making money now, right? Wouldn't really make wouldn't really make a real real a lot of sense why it would just tank back down into the zone. But I might add this one. I'm gonna add this one to my list. Uh, I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna add this to my list. Are you invested in CLF right now? Who was that? Uh, who was it? Who was that? Lemieux, are you invested in CLF or what? Nick Cordova says, if I drop five, you need to drop at least three. <laughs> you guys are funny. All I got to say is Mavis to the moon. Can I get some rockets in the chat? Arnold. Arnold coming in with the, with the rockets in the chat. What's up, Arnold? I see you still hanging in there, buddy. I see you still hanging in there. Let's get some rockets in the chat. You guys are gangsters, man. Talking about so much super chat. That's crazy. Shoot, you're going to send me like that. Send it on Cash App. I don't have to pay 30%. <laughs> They're like the government, man. They take it right out of you. 21.12 on CLF. I don't know, man. That looks like a, This looks like a decent swing trade, to be honest with you, just from looking at the chart. You could probably easily swing this uh, Lemieux up to $27, bro, to be honest. I don't think that would be that hard. Doge 55 went up a little bit. Guys, I'm going to stream for a little bit longer. Heather. <laughs> oh, man. That would definitely help with the freaking $4,000 computer. 
Uh, 55 cents. We need to get back above this level of this line right here, to be honest with you. This is like, this is what I want to get over. Once you get over this, it might not be that hard to climb. Yeah, no, this one can definitely go up. I mean, like I said, this is for, for sure can go back up. I mean, just look at it. I mean, it, easily. If it gets above this, you're just going to be going in, in, you know, couple dollar increments. Like I said, the next, you know, break through these walls one at a time, but... Heather's nest egg says, Nick, send it to James on Cash App so YouTube doesn't take 30% cut. Yeah, dude, if you really wanted to do that, I mean, holy crap. I would not even be able to explain the love that I would feel, but if you want to do that, do it on, do it on Cash so I don't have to pay YouTube. Or do whatever you want. I don't care. Let's see. Uh, so, yeah, man, CLF looks good. I, I would take it for a swing. I might be interested in swing trading that for a couple weeks. For sure. Looking like it looking like a reverse trend here. Starting that higher highs, higher lows thing, you know? It's always great. Nick says I'm sending it with PayPal. He has to stay on. You and me. You as you as well as me, girl. Oh man. If you guys are serious, I'm gonna I'm gonna freak out. Uh, Simon, Simone Robinson says, "Am I still in Fami?" Yes, of course, I'm still in Fami. I'm not letting go of Fami, guys. Fami is super undervalued. Okay, super undervalued. I'm holding on to that for sure. That's going to be a quick double up. You guys are crazy if you send that to my PayPal. I'm going to lose it. $0.55. Cents. I just want to get above this stupid line right here. Just get us above that line one time, dealer. I don't even know if you guys have my PayPal. I don't think I've put that out there. Uh, let me check something real quick. Oh yeah, Nick does. Okay, now I'm nervous because Nick does have the PayPal. <laughs> he could easily do it. Uh, that's how he got in the members. Uh, let's see here. 21, 12. Yeah, man. Anyway, CLF, I like that one. I added it to my list. I added it to my list. I'm going to look at that a little further. Uh, let me check out Fami real quick. Guys, Fami's prepped. Fami's super prepped, right? It really is. Oh my god. Heather says, Nick, do it. It's your turn. <laughs> I will let you know if he does it. I have the PayPal right here. Fami, uh, Fami is, yeah, Fami for sure. So, oh wait, I don't want to delete that. I want to show you guys this. Alright, so as far as Fami goes on this move, uh, we're in a falling wedge here, okay? We're in a falling wedge here. Which is great for us, absolutely great, all right? Because if we break out of the falling wedge, that's always, it happens in Mavis, it happens in all of the uh, falling wedges in Mavis we've been in. It just breaks out really hardcore. All right, so we got our, our uh, trend line support here, and then we broke down, which put us in this falling wedge. And this is Fami, guys, just so you know, all right? Uh, let me do, move these lines real quick. All right, so <clears throat> when we get out of this wedge here, one second.
if we break out of this wedge on Femi, all right, <clears throat> which, <clears throat> excuse me, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen, all right. Lot of buy orders going in last week on Femi. Uh, guys, if you didn't know, uh, Savvy just bought like 16 million shares. Uh, they just released uh, what, what was there? Their earnings are going to be are really good. Their financials are really good. They just got a contract to export to Japan. Uh, Japan is the biggest place ever for freaking edible mushrooms. All right, absolutely crazy. All right, so for them to get that contract to export to Japan, that's insane. That is going to be in revenue. All right, you guys, that's going to be money. All right, so a lot of people are reading that news and they're going to get in. So as soon as we break out of this falling wedge, the only real thing we have to get above is this right here. This 45 cent. We can get above, actually, no, it's, I mean, get above 45 cent would be good, but if we get above this 55 cent, that's when it's gonna be moon time. All right? So we just gotta break out of this wedge, all right? And once it happens, probably gonna at least see 55 cents again. We're gonna at least test it. All right? We're gonna at least test it. Um, yeah, we'll at least test it. I, I think we for sure will go back to 55 cents. That's going to be the big, the big resistance. This is our, this is our 1930 on Mavis, basically. All right, once we get above this, it's pretty much moon time. All right, so Fami's definitely going to break out. It just is a matter of when, not if. All right, you see it here. We'll see what happens. I like Femi. This is this is a nice double. Guys, I told you I, I, this is going to be like a week or two swing trade. Maybe three weeks. Maybe even a little bit longer. But I told you guys this was a medium-term play. This wasn't a short-term play, and it wasn't. it's not a long-term play. It could be a long-term play if they, if they ramp up their production and all that stuff. But for me, I want to sell at about, you know, anywhere from 80 cents to a dollar would be perfect uh, on this trade, and I would be super-duper happy with it, all right? Insanely happy with it. Um, <laughs> sorry guys. Uh, let's see where are we at. Where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? Yeah, it's already been consolidating, right? So it's been. Con this is a this is a one hour chart. So like I said, as soon as we break out of this wedge, we're gonna test fifty five cents. All right, it's just inevitable. Now, not every time do you break out to the top side on these wedges, but most times I would probably say eighty five percent of the time or more, I have seen a falling wedge. It is pretty much always guaranteed almost a breakout to the top side. How much? I don't know. But it looks like if we did break out, we'd get some momentum for sure. And as soon as we get above 50 cents, like we get above like, you know, 50 cents or something, we're definitely going to see 55 cents. All right. But I think Fami is a good a good a good stock to be in. That that news they got with the the Japan export is huge. That's that's huge. Diluting the stock? I mean I mean they you know, they did the th the they did a common stock offering down to 30 cents, so they made a lot of money on that and uh, you know, they sold a lot of shares, so they have money now to ramp up their production. They're going to they're going to for sure be using that to their benefit. Like for sure.
Let's see. Uh, okay, okay, we just broke up. Okay, we broke above this line. 56 cents now. I got to be down. A l uh, okay, $78 uh, negative on my Dogecoin investment. It did break above this level, so we shall see. We shall see. Probably going to stream for about 30 more minutes, guys. We're just going to hang out. I'm just kind of just chilling, to be honest with you. Okay, <laughs> uh, guys, Nick Cordova just, just sent me a $500 donation on PayPal. $500, Nick Cordova. He just sent me a $500 donation on PayPal. I'm not even joking. Like, Nick, brother. <laughs> oh, my God. Can we get some rockets in the chat for Nick, man? That guy is a total, total boss. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much, Nick. Seriously, brother. Get some rockets in the chat for Nick, guys, for real. Guy just sent me a $500 donation on PayPal. Holy crap. Wow. Thank you so much, my, my friend. Thank you so much. That is absolutely insane. And I'm not lying. He really did it. Holy crap. Nick, thank you, brother. Thank you so much. That is absolutely incredible. Wow. So amazing. Thank you, Nick. Nick, thank you, thank you, thank you, brother. Holy crap. <laughs> Anything you want, Nick, you got it. Nick, you and Heather both locked in a, a hoodie, a shirt, and a hat, all right? Both of you. Yeah, that is awesome, man. Nick, thank you so much, man. All right. Um, let me get, I'm, I'm, let me get, I'm trying to figure something out for this, for this dude real quick. Hold on. I'm kind of taken aback by that. Taken aback. I'm kind of taken aback by that. <laughs> I, feel, I feel bad. <laughs> I feel bad, man. I feel bad. Let's see here. Um, I'm going to put it up. Nick, give me just a second. Size thirty one. <laughs> yeah, no, he's he he definitely did it. Awesome dude, man. What what support? You guys are so amazing. It's hard to imagine you guys support me this hard. It makes me feel really good. It makes me feel like I'm doing something of value, you know. If somebody's willing to do that, it really makes me feel like <laughs> All right, I got to put this up because this is hilarious. Hold on, I got to figure out a way to do this. How can I do this? Uh, let me see here. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to put it up. One second, my friend. Give me one second. It's definitely going up. It's definitely going up for the world to freaking see. That's crazy. Uh, let's see here. Oh, you know what? No, I don't need to do that. I need to do this, save photos. We're gonna let the world see this, Nick. Holy crap, man. Uh, let's see. Oh, yes. There we go. What a hilarious tag, too. It's so <laughs> You guys are funny, man. Oh, God. Let's see. 
I'm gonna put it up here. I gotta show it in Discord, I guess. Um, all right, now I can do it like this. Heather has Heather has been supporting since the beginning, man. I uh, thank you both so much. You guys are, you guys are amazing. <clears throat> you guys have just shown me so much love, and I just it makes me it makes it worth it for me to do this, man. It really does. Makes me feel like I'm giving you guys something of value. All right, guys, look at the screen. Let me show you show you this real quick. Uh, how do I do this? Discord? Oh wait, that's not it. Oh, window capture. Here we go. All right, Discord. Just so you guys see it here, boom. Oh my God. <laughs> Nick Cordova. Thank you, man. I keep talking about it, but that is, that is just amazing. Hey, look at your screen real quick, guys. Boom. Thank you both so much. Coming in with that $500 donation. Oh my God. Thank you, Nick. Heather, thank you. Thank you, everyone that supports me, right? Every single one of you. Thank you so much. That's crazy. Thank you, Heather. Nick Cordova says, she called me out. <laughs> now you are up. <laughs> oh, my God. You guys are having a true battle of the balls here, man. That's crazy. Uh, Dogecoin, 56 cents. This thing is kind of just stopped, man. It's kind of just stopped. Heather said, kaboom. Nick Cordova says, I don't need proof. I want you guys to throw a buck. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I hope you guys are amazed. Because if you're here watching this for Dogecoin, uh, I know there's not a lot of people left. We've got 32 people here. But if you're watching from Dogecoin, definitely look into Microvision, all right? This is the stock that we cover pretty much every day on this channel. And we're just waiting for a buyout, waiting for some kind of vertical to get sold. Something, something, all right? Something, something. Could have some really good news in, in May, honestly. May 26 could be absolutely insane. We could, we could get some news in May. We were never... The thing I think that hurt us, uh, as far as Microvision goes... Uh, is just that we kind of got hyped up over April, right? And I let myself get a little hyped up over it. But, you know, we were never guaranteed. We weren't guaranteed any news or anything, really, other than that the vert that the, uh, the LiDAR would be completed. You know, that's it, that the LiDAR would be completed. We didn't have any other guarantees or anything like that. So, you know, we got a little hyped up. And now that the LiDAR sample is complete, maybe on May 26th we get some news. I mean, I feel like that would be long enough for someone to look at it. You know what I'm saying? And uh, at least, you know, if I was forward or something, maybe you... I, for some reason, I feel like it's been completed, all right? I feel like the sample has been completed, and they've probably already shown all these companies their technology a long time ago, right? I, I think for, you know, um, publicity, public reasons, public relation reasons, stockholder reasons, they probably just said, it, oh, it was done in April, you know, blah, blah, blah. But it probably was done before that. No, uh, the BC and D sample, there won't be one. I think that's what they said. There will not be one. Those are going to be up for the, for the OEMs. All right, so if there is a B sample, C sample, D sample, whatever, I think that it's up to the OEMs for that. If I'm not, if I'm not correct, somebody correct me, but I think, I think that they said there wouldn't be a B, C, or D. That's up to the OEMs to take it from where they, they have it. Maybe I'm wrong. I'd have to look back, but I think that's what I, from what I understood, that's what it, that's what it was. Mavis is playing the game that Microsoft and Apple played. They're providing a platform. Yeah, they are. They are. And I, I really think it can go up. I know it will. All right, I know it will. Just based off the chart alone, I think it'll go up. Like, seriously, I really do. And maybe we drop down to this trend line. Okay, but I don't, I, I don't think we will. All right, because we did just break out of this wedge. And then we broke out, went up to about 1540. And uh, somewhere around there, and came back down and closed above structure. So maybe we, maybe we do it. Oh wait, oh I'm, I got this thing still up. Hold on, let me put it back on the chart. I'm sorry, my bad. I did not mean to keep it up here. Sorry about that. I was looking at the charts and talking and all this stuff. 
Sorry about that. Uh, but anyways, like I said, Mavis, uh, yeah, guys, I mean, we, we broke out of this wedge, closed above support. So I think next week is going to be green. I really do. I think we get above this. I think we for sure get above this. If we close above 1540 and then we close above this, so basically if we close above, you know, 1670, we're going to have a we're going to have a nice run up. I it's almost just guaranteed. Doge to 8 cents. <laughs> Maybe, man. I don't know. It's possible. What am I down? $84 on Dogecoin? Gosh, dang it. That's the worst. That was a terrible investment. Cat Dad, Dogecoin to eight. Nick Cordova says, Me and Heather are going to make the cutest babies. <laughs> what the heck? I can't read that. I'm not reading that. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I should have read that in my mind first. <laughs> oh my god. You guys are crazy. I, def I definitely should have mind read that first. I wouldn't have read it out loud. <laughs> oh my god. You guys are freaking hilarious. Hopefully she was away from the computer when I said that. 56 cents on Dogecoin. Nick, you crack me up, man. I know you're joking, brother. That's so funny, though. <laughs> Doge will survive. Maybe it will, man. Maybe it will. I don't know. It's a bubble waiting to pop. I'll tell you that much. It really is. So, I don't know. Maybe this goes to $5. Who, who knows, you know? I don't... I have no idea. All I know is what the charts tell me. The charts kind of tell me that this thing is looking like a big, big bubble that's just waiting to pop, you know? Heather said, <laughs> laugh my butt off. My boyfriend's sitting here laughing his ass off. <laughs> Nick needs to round up 20 people to get him. <laughs> that is too funny. Oh my gosh. That is too funny. <laughs> oh my god. All right. 56 cents on Dogecoin. Guys, we're going to stream till about we're going to stream for about another yeah, about another 15 minutes, 20 minutes. I'm going to close it off. I got a couple things I got to do. Uh but yeah, uh you know this is this you guys make this so much fun even when there's not a lot of people here it's still so much fun <laughs> Lemieux where do I predict it'll peak you talking about dogecoin I mean man I feel like it did I feel like it did peak my friend if this ain't a peak I don't know what is to go from like a 14th of a, of one cent to freaking 74 total cents. That's huge. If that's not a peak, I don't know what is, man. That is, that's insane. That is absolutely insane. That's a pretty big peak, man. He says, oh my God. <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> oh, you guys are hilarious. Come on, Dogecoin. Just give me even so I can stop bag holding this crap. This was a terrible trade. I might just cut my losses and get out of this crap. Even though I know I will break even at some point if I leave it in here. I just don't even want to be in this anymore. I got in way too late. I should have waited for the dip. We knew it was going to happen, right? It's like obvious. We knew that was going to happen. I did at least. This thing was not just going to jump up to a dollar as soon as he started talking. <laughs> Nick, he's only three times my size, but we will jump him from the top, the left, maybe the right, and not sure if RGB on under. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> oh, 
Oh god. Heather's all, did we just become best friends? To Nick. <laughs> did we just become best friends? All right. Doge just broke above that line. Having a lot of trouble getting above this 56 cents. <clears throat> oh, yeah, guys. Robinhood just put out something. It says, or some, someone put out a thing about Robinhood. It says, Robinhood began experiencing trading problems while Dogecoin lover Elon Musk was hosting a Saturday Night Live. Yeah, I'm so sure it was just a big coincidence and a trading platform problem that people couldn't close their trades when, the, when, the, when, when it was tanking. Yeah, I'm so sure. Yeah, right. That was for sure not coincidence. <laughs> Limsters on, on, on Discord. That's hilarious. <laughs> Nick says I'm hard to beat bro I'm stubborn <laughs> I feel the same way in poker man oh, I feel the same way I'd pay more and more to get it in <laughs> uh, oh man you guys are you guys are on another level you really are. You and Heather, you got Heather, you met your match, Heather. I can't lie to you, Heather. You've met your match. Nick is a Nick is a, just as crazy as you are. You guys are awesome. But you definitely met met your match. To the moon. Let's go. I hope Mavis pops off this week, man. I really do. Dogecoin cannot get above 56 cents or well really it can't get above it can't get above 57 cents 57 cents right here all these touch points it's having a very hard time doing it it's having a very hard time doing it if it does though I, I think it might it might pop off here a little bit if it does because you can see here this was a really big level of support all right uh, you see all these touch points up in here especially these all right all these touch points on this line on this 57 cents so if it does get above it probably will jump at least back to 50, at least back to like 60 cents i would imagine at least Nick says, if I don't get my money back on Fami, I hate you. Nah, dude, you're going to get your money back on Fami. I don't, what's your entry point? Let me know your entry point. Let me look at it real quick. Uh, what? Yeah, tell me your, uh, tell me your average on Fami, Nick. Because if you got in under, you know, if you got in under, under, 50, under like 50 cents, you're going to be golden. And anything under 60 cents is probably going to make money. It might take a little bit longer, but you're, you're going to make your money back on that one, man. 39 oh dude you're way good you got a lower average than me bro i'm at 46 cents on Fami. 
I got in at 46 cents. Well, no, that's not true. I got in at like 41 cents and then I averaged up. At four, so my average is like 46. So I, I think I added on at like 49 cents. So yeah, my average is 46. So you're, you're good. You're way good. Forty cents is, uh, I mean, thirty-nine cents is really, really good. Cause you gotta look at it, man. I mean, like I said, even if we just, you don't even have to get. I mean, just for you to get your money back, you said if you, you don't get your money back, all you gotta do is get up here. Like seriously, thirty-nine cents. Wait, you're in the you're in the green already, aren't you? If you got in at thirty-nine cents, you should definitely be in the money already. Hold up, you gotta be. What's Fami at right now? Aftermarket. Yeah, yeah. Fa right now, uh, Fami's at 39 cents. So you're literally break even right now. I was 42, then I doubled up at 38. Oh, okay, okay. Heather needs to drop an egg. What does that mean? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, no, you're good on Fami though, man. Just wait, bro. Wait till this pops out of this uh, this falling wedge. We're, you're gonna see some money. I don't know how much you you invested, but you're gonna see some you're gonna see some money. This thing's this thing is 100. percent I don't wanna say 100, percent but it's like 98 percent gonna retest 55 cents. It just is. It has to. <laughs> it has to, man. It just I can't I can't imagine it not doing it. It would it wouldn't make any sense. Because we're right here at the bottom of the zone, so it's just, I mean, I think next week, maybe not maybe not next week we get to 55, but I think next week we for sure break out of this wedge, because even if we come down a little lower, maybe if we did get down to like 37 cents, we're going we're gonna to break out. 1,500? That's not bad. That's, you know. Heather said, Nick makes me blush. <laughs> you done met your match, Heather. Oh, man. Dogecoin dropped again. 55 cents now. Man, part of me wants to just take this loss. Part of me wants to take this loss. Even though I really feel it in my gut this is going to go back up, I might just take the loss, man. $81. $5,000 shares of Fami at 43 Dude, that's not that bad, man. You're, like I said, you're lower than me. Your average is lower than mine. I got 20000 No, Hold on. So my Fami position, I'll tell it to you guys. My FAMI position is 22,278 shares. My average cost is 45 cents. 45 cents, all right? So, if this thing goes to 80 cents, if this thing goes to 90 cents, I'm going to make $10,000. If it goes to 90 cents, I make 10, I make 10 K and I'll be happy with that. I'll be so happy with that because this is not, this is not something I want to, I want to just bag hold and be in a long term. You know, even though this could be a long term investment, if you're looking at the financials and everything, but for me, this was a double up trade. So if I, if I get anywhere near 90 cents, I'm probably going to get out of there. Or I trail my stop loss. So if it gets up to like 80 cents, I'll put my stop loss at like 70 cents. If it goes to 90 cents, I'll put my stop loss at 80 cents. If it goes to a dollar, I'll put it at 90 cents, et cetera, et cetera. And, uh, you know, we'll do it like that. Probably That's actually what I'm probably going to do. But uh, as far as Dogecoin goes, this was just a trash investment. I might just take this loss, man. I might just take this freaking loss. Should I do it? Thumbs up in the chat if I should take this loss right now. Or thumbs down if I shouldn't. If I, if you, if I should take this loss, give me a thumbs up in the chat. $82. Should I cut my losses or should I just let it run? What do you guys think for Dogecoin? I'm down $82 right now. Let's see what you guys think. 
Thumbs up if I should close the trade. Thumbs up if I should close the trade. Or thumbs down if I shouldn't. No? Got a couple thumbs downs, a couple thumbs up. Let's just keep the doge. Oh, it's kind of moving up here for a second. Let's see what happens. It's making a run back towards this 57 cents. Keep those chips on the table. All right, well, more people said keep it than don't, so I guess we'll keep it. We'll keep it. We'll see what happens. But if I break even, I'm out of there. I'm out of there if I break even. Heather, Heather coming in with an $82 super chat. Bada bing, bada boom. Thank you, Heather. As always, <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you so much. She, she, Heather cleared my, oh, she said close. Oh, I got to do it, guys. I got to freaking do it, man. She's right. I, she just paid for my, she just paid for my, uh, my drawdown. I feel like I got to do it because she did that. All right, I got to do it. I'm going to listen to, I'm going to listen to Heather. Bye bye 82. Well, no, Heather paid for it. So boom, that has been closed. Trade closed. Out of there. All right. Nick Cordova sent $83 in super chat. All right. Here we go. Oh man. I got to find a channel where I can go do this to people. I got to find some dude on YouTube that I can just go bless like you guys do me. I'm going to find somebody. <laughs> we closed it. $82 loss. Whatever. I mean, you know, I just don't want to sit there and bag hold, you guys. I really don't. I really don't. Because like I said, I truly think that this could tank. I mean, it, it really could. We could just come back down and test this $0.44. Cents. I don't really want to be bag holding. Heather and Nick are just freaking battling it, man. <laughs> Battling it on the, on the TMJ channel. Oh my god. Uh, we closed the trade, guys. I lost $82. Um, whatever. It is what it is. That was a really bad trade, and to be honest with you, I deserve to lose the money because it was a bad trade. It was a terrible trade. I literally jumped in based off FOMO. I, I said, okay, I'm going to do a FOMO trade here. 500 bucks, and I got wrecked. So $82 loss on that trade. Not going to do it again with, with Dogecoin. If Dogecoin happens to dip down to like 20, 30 cents, I will for sure get back in. But until then, I'm out. Yeah, I, I took the loss. I didn't want to be bag holding that. Nick and Heather, you guys have blessed me so hard. I swear, like I said, I need to find some kid on YouTube. that's cut. There's a kid on YouTube that covers Mavis. Maybe I'll get on there and he doesn't have very many followers. Maybe I'll get on there and bless him like you guys do me. You guys are awesome. <laughs> My entry point on Doge was 66 cents. So uh, I got in literally right before the SNL thing and just was hoping that maybe, maybe I can make 100 bucks or 200 bucks and get out, but that did not work. So we took an $83 loss, but Nick and Heather covered that and it's, you know, substantially. So thank you guys so much, man. Really, you guys are awesome. If you guys are still in Doge, though, it's not it's not bad to hold this. I mean, like I said, you know, it, watch as soon as I as soon as I sell it, it's gonna go up to like seventy five cents. It's gonna be so funny. I'd rather take a I'd rather take an eighty an eighty dollar loss than just bag hold that. I could put that in something else tonight or tomorrow and make that back easy. Don't say that. Oh my God, it actually is. It actually. Is. Look at this. It broke that fifty seven cents. Okay, it fell back down. That would be so funny if it went up to like 70 cents. Yeah, I had a good time. Th Heather, thank you guys. Nick, thank you so much, man. You guys, wow. Thank you so much. Cannot put into words how appreciative I am of you guys in those super chats and that donation. Nick, thank you, man. You guys got a special place in my heart. Nick and Heather are about to get some custom... Discord title or something. I'm gonna make some up for y'all. You guys are gonna get something. You guys are gonna get something. He's in at 0 0.5. Oh man. Yeah, it's hard to sell if you're in for that low. It's hard to do it. Maybe he maybe he takes a little bit of profit. I don't know. Nick, you are OG. Nick Cordova, 
my god no you're not obnoxious man this is it's been so awesome thank you so much for that that 500 dollars donation bro it went straight towards my computer thank you thank you so much uh man and heather thank you as well as always, Heather, you are just so supportive, and I really, you know, even all of you dudes that and, and ladies that, you know, support in whatever way you can, even just the ones that like the video, thank you so much. Uh, you all mean a lot to me, and I appreciate it. And uh, this stream was kind of, kind of random, but uh, Monday we'll be back at the Bell for sure, covering Microvision and Famy. Hopefully they pop off. Somebody was hating on me for covering Famy, but man, man does this does this chart look good and does the, the financials look good the whole setup looks so good so i don't know how you could sh you could send hate my way for this stock someone had left a comment on youtube like oh you're covering famy i don't like tuning in anymore like okay i mean when this goes to a dollar and i make ten thousand dollars it's gonna look all right and i think that's gonna happen so all of you that are in famy hold tight diamond hands this thing's gonna go up it's just a matter of when not if same thing with mavis all right uh, peace and love to you all. We're going to go ahead and close the stream down. I will see you guys on Monday uh, for the bell, all right? We'll continue this on Discord. And uh, thank you all very much. Heather, Nick, you guys are freaking awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. You guys are awesome. I will see you guys Monday, all right? Peace and love. Tremo James signing up out of here. Oh, that didn't work. Okay, I'll do it like this. There we go. Boom. This is making my stream look really bad. I'm trying to send some hearts in here for all of you guys, but it's not working. There we go. All right, peace and love, guys. See you on Monday. Peace out.